Harvard, amazing school, very academic, one of my favorites. I love those academic schools. I really hate the big sports schools. I love the academic ones. Yeah, academic schools are just amazing. Shit, shit, go, Matt. Shit, go, okay? I read it wrong. So yeah, there's the Charles River. Fenway here. And then 22 years later, they extend left field. The green monster gets added on to left field. Now, me personally, not a huge baseball fan. However, it is a whole other experience coming here to the games, concerts, tours. They do are awesome. They do every hour on the hour. And uh, just a really cool spot right in the heart of the city here at Fenway. It's some awesome spots to check out if you get a chance right around the area. Check out the teammate statue, Bobby Doerr, Johnny Pesky, Dom DiMaggio, Ted Williams. Carl Yastrzemski waving his hat to the fans, and then good old Ted on the, on the end there. Give his hat to a little fan. And this is going to be our stop number 12 for the railroad construction event. More recently, they're known for their Ames plow as well. Charles River it runs 26 miles out to the left side of us, all the way out to the town of Hopkinton, which is where we start our Boston Marathon from. And as you can tell, a beautiful day for the boats out there, right? <laughs> Soon enough, they'll be packed. Especially if you guys come back 4th of July, forget about it. You can barely see any of the water here. It's absolutely nuts. Well, Smoots, after grabbing the off day of July, and then check out that white dome-like structure. That's what we call the hat shell. That's where the Boston Pops, they set up and perform. They do the grand finale at the end, the 1812 grand overture, the grand finale of the fireworks. And yeah, a little foggy right now. We'll hopefully that clear up later on. And the Sacred Bridge up on the left of us. You can see it. And the Buckingham Monument back there. Now, one of my favorite buildings, up on the other side of the bridge, over here on the left, the corner. See the Liberty Hotel, this beautiful stone building. The museum tour, check out, make sure you grab one of the green and white coupons on your way out the door here by the stairs. Give me $10 off. And the good old Children's Museum on the opposite side of the bridge here. We're going to pull right over here as soon as I get about 12 of them in Boston along. If any impression, go by the shape of the sign to figure out, hey, you know, I'm going to take a while guessing. I hope that there's some clothes in there, or at least t-shirts. And uh, a lot of the stores kept that old feel to it. We'll see a couple more examples in a minute. These gas-lit lanterns, these have been, of course, she has the nice cowboy boot for hers. All right, stop 15, my friend. Anyone put 15? Stop 15. Now, right here in this area in 1635 was the very first school in the whole nation. It was called Boston Latin. And our buddy Ben Franklin School, but now pretty cool. Down at the end of Milk Street here, we have... So today was kind of like the shopping day, so I definitely bought, like, a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. So first I went to the New England Aquarium, so I got this gang from the, the gift sack. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty... I, I like the, um, the little pattern on here, like the... Stripe, I guess it's not striping. Well, you you know what I mean. I like the pattern. Then I went to this restaurant, Cheers. Uh, now, I know it's from some TV show, but I don't. 
um, know exactly what the, um, it's, yeah, I don't, never watch this TV show now, I want to watch it, because their food was very good, recommend it, and I recommend the New England Aquarium, so I just, this was free, I just took it, because, memory of Boston, Samuel Adams, fill your glass, so yeah, fill your glass, so then I got this little card on like this wooden thing like it's plaque I think I don't know a plaque whatever it's called Jackie Bradley Jr. yeah th this was really cool I'm pretty sure these things should be expensive this one was $13 so I got this picture the green line got some Celtics players, some Celtics legends, walking by TD Garden. Well, at that time, back in the old days, it was called the Boston Garden, and I learned that from a little tour bus thingy. Wow. Shut up! And then we got the red line. Red Sox greets in front of um, Fenway, and then here in this corner, I think they're throwing off a Yankees fan, so that's my favorite part of it. And then I got another red line. So this would technically be a giveaway to Basketball Man 5. Shout out to Basketball Man 5. So I got this Gordon Hayward. Um, what's it called? Pop? Pop Sports. Um, yeah, I have a Des Bryant one of these and a Cam Newton, so figured why not get a basketball one, and they had Gordon Hayward, so that's what I got. Yeah, I, Gordon Hayward is my s second favorite Celtic. My first favorite's Kyrie, if you look on the back here. Show some other players. You got Clay Thompson. Ooh. Anthony Davis, Kyrie on the Cavaliers in that one. So, yeah. So, then I went to a sports store, and I am going to the Red Sox home opener. So, I figured why not get this, maybe get an autograph. I'll go into this, um, the ballpark right when it opens, right when the gates open. So, and I'm sitting pretty close to the dugout, so... Maybe I can get an autograph or two. So, then I got a Bruins hat. This is my favorite part. It says Bruins in silver. Got the Bruins logo. Got this gray here. NHL logo. It's shiny. And then Adidas logo. Because they now make the NHL uniforms... So then I got this Bruins kind of like sweater. This is awesome. Stitched on Bruins logo. Bruins like fades into Bruins. And then this is cool. And here's the back. Here's the back. So then I got this Bruins shirt. Boston Bruins logo got the crossing hockey sticks National Hockey League since 1924 Bruins and the Bruins logo I think I said that already and it's in gray um I was there's this little I told you this um in Boston day one but there's a mall connected to my hotel there's two malls well okay there's a mall connected to my hotel and there's a mall co connected to the, uh, the mall, there's a mall connected to the mall connected to my hotel, if that makes, alright, yeah, I'll explain in Boston day three, but I was looking through a gift shop, and I was looking for a Bruins shirt, and this one really stuck out to me, I thought it was really cool, so I picked this one, so I actually got one, wait, one, two, three, Three. Now that makes four Bruins things. I got this Bruins puck. Also got that from the gift shop where I got the Bruins shirt from. So yeah, this was cool. This is the last thing I got. 
and the day because I should be getting a million more stuff in my lifetime. We gotta remember my entire lifetime. You know, I think this is gonna be the last thing I buy in my entire life. You know, Bruins Puck. Yeah, eat it for survival. This one will be delicious. See, I'm not sure about the Red Sox baseball. It's going to be a little tough to eat. Hockey puck, though? Nah, that should be easy. So, we got the Red Sox home opener tickets. Red Sox versus Race Fenway Park. Thursday, April 5th, 2018, 2.05 p.m. Got to be exact with the time. Can't be 2 p.m. 2.05 not exactly sure who this is, but it's that guy. These tickets are really cool. Got four tickets. And yeah, they're really cool, these tickets. Fenway Park. It's going to be my first time going to America's Most Beloved or America's Most Beloved Ball Park. <laughs> Pedicate, whoa, Jeffy, tell me what the fuck are you so? Jeffy, tell me how to use flow, Jeffy. You don't even know what is flow, Jeffy, no, Jeffy. So, Jeffy, why do you not want me to grow? Jeffy, you're looking at that motherfucking puppeteer, you don't get to come up here, shut the fuck up all. Ready, all, ready, got all muddy, caught your body like a popped off shoddy. Drop top pop, and I just caught shoddy. Want some top, so I just caught shoddy.